What's up, Elise? It's Elite X here. You already know what it is. We live action. I'm gonna keep rolling them out, rolling them out as fast as I can with these video requests. Here's another one from. Okay. Bear with me. As Asarian Mike 08. I hope I said that right. Asarian or Asarian Mike 08. Uh, either way, if I didn't get it right, I apologize. <clears throat> He sends me, hey Ace, what's up man, I'm loving all the videos you're putting up, thanks for that by the way, I like that you are a frequent uploader, it seems like a lot of other people need time before they put up videos, but yours just like, boom, new video, let's do this, <laughs> lol, anyways, I was wondering if you could do a video on what your thoughts were on Tsunami, I mean, Tsunami came, Tsunami came back, I think, Saturday, and I'm not sure if they're doing that for good or if it was just something for an April Fool's joke or whatever. I was just wondering what your thoughts were and if you had any. Also, I think it would be cool to see you share your experiences with Tsunami when you watched it, if you did. Okay, thanks for reading my messages, bro. Keep up those videos. All right, thanks a lot for that. Um, yes, I know today is Saturday. You know, it is April 7th. I know it's Saturday. I know a lot of people already did videos on this, you know, uh, from what I heard of uh, the phone. He did videos on it, um, Bunkai 922, King of Lightning for Never World, yada yada. Uh, of course, now it's the Elite Aces turn. Uh, yes, I know I'm a week late with it, but uh, what the hell are you? Now you're getting the Elite thoughts on it, you know. But last week when it happened, um, now I'm sitting playing, uh, Modern Warfare 3 dealing with some uh, monkey ass campers and uh, of course next thing you know in my cousin's room I hear a familiar beat I'm, like, well, I'm thinking like oh wait 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 a minute I take off my headphones I'm like well. then I hear a time I'm like I know I don't hear a time time I get up and as I'm getting up oh TV but uh yeah so I'm thinking to myself like Oh, wait a minute. I, you know, as I get up, I'm going in there. My cousin, he's like, look at the day. Tsunami is back. And I'm looking. And it's, I'm I'm just getting all these multiple mixed feelings going through my mind. I'm like, what? what how? I'm just confused. I'm thrown off everything. So I see the style of it. How they're playing the beat. And they're showing quick scenes from Bleach. Then they show the upcoming lineup. I see Bleach, Dragon Ball, and Gundam Wing. I'm like, that just seems like weird. It's like, I just had so many questions going on in my mind. People were uh, lighting my inbox up with it. Like, what do you think it is? Uh, one person, uh, uh, he filmed it and sent it to me and everything. And of course, I'm a man of my research. Did a little click, 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 clap. Of course, as you already know, you know, it was an April Fool's joke. That's what it was. Now, even furthermore, uh, research, it states right here, on midnight of April 1st, 2012, just past Tsunami's 15th anniversary, Adult Swim, which generally changes programming for April Fool's Day, began to play The Room, as they had done past the several years. The scene switched to time in its third incarnation, aboard his ship, greeting the viewers while commenting that it is April Fool's Day. Before being introduced that we schedule episode of Bleach, the tsunami related programming and bumpers continued throughout the night featuring Dragon Ball Z, Gundam Wing, uh, Tenshi Mayo, Ryo Ochi, or Oki, whatever, whichever one y'all call it, Outlaw Star, The Big O, Season 1, Yu Yu Hakusho, Blue Submarine, Number 6, Trigun, Astro Boy, and Gigantor. Tom also presented a review of Mass Effect 3 and promoted the recent DVD releases of the of the series that was featured. Now, the following day, now, now this thing, the following day, Adult Swim posts a message to their Twitter page simply stating, Want it back? Let us know. Bring back Tsunami. On April 4th, Adult Swim followed up with this tweet, with with this tweet stating, Bring back Tsunami, we've heard you. Thank you for your passion and interest. Stay tuned. So it seems like 
people wasn't upset about it. If they had brought it back, I wouldn't have been upset about it. It just seemed weird to see Bleach on a dark swim. I mean, a dark swim on Tsunami because Bleach is more of an adult swim oriented anime. So, you know, yes, Tsunami had a midnight run, but that, that again, they showed excuse me, uncut versions of those animes, but by default, default, it's not pretty much too much you can do to edit and chop up Bleach to put it on a, uh, a editing, uh, I mean, a Tsunami style run, and I say that because, like I said in one of my previous videos, I believe the popularity of Naruto is more popular in Bleach because America is very picky and sensitive with the whole um, religious thing, you know? And a lot of companies and parents, they are well aware about when you bring up things like uh, spirits, afterlife, death, everything, because going to hell and soul society and afterlife and cleansing of the sins that's touching bases on religion a lot of the spotters their aspect of death fall under the deadly sins religion there's a lot of people out there that do not believe in god and for the ones who do believe in god they go there into a whole nother religion that has nothing to do with you know some people believe that there is no hell you know, look at the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, how they wanted to change it, you know, how, how it says one nation under God. They, they want to stop saying that. I'm like, if um, that the Pledge of Allegiance has been around for God knows how long, such a long time, and they want to change it because, you know, you have these people who feel that, well, my kids should have to say one nation under God because we don't believe in God. We, so, when... Uh, when it's something like bleach, I'm talking about spirits and souls and everything like that. They say, you know what? Let's put it on a DOS one. It's, yeah, we can make, you can edit the blood and the cussing, but the overall plot story, the theme of it, it's pretty much set in stone. You can, I have soul cutter, but it's really zomp pot toe and everything. You can alter and try to uh, English translate the words. All you want to try to disguise it and make it seem more family friendly, but no. That's why they put on the DOS swim to keep it, to increase the chances of keeping out of sight of the younger audience or the children of the parents who is sensitive about that kind of matter. Um, I'm not sensitive about it. I mean, hell's bells, I believe in God. I got no problem with the whole sins, hell, being this now. I, you know, it's cool with me. I love Bleach. But anyway, Naruto, uh, not so much. I'm not going to say not completely, but not so much. That's why, you know, it's an easy pickup. I mean, from what I understand, Naruto started out, when he started, he was, what, 12 years old? You got these little preteen teenage ninjas. Yeah, uh, you know, that's probably why I clicked on faster over here and bleach. But anyway, back to Tsunami. Hmm. Like I said, I wouldn't care if they brought it back. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I lost Star. You know, Blue Submarine 6 and Tetsu. I've never seen Blue Submarine. Like, I never really got into it. I would see the trailers for it all the time. Never got a chance to get off into it. These are classic, iconic um, um, animes that people remember on Toonami. And true enough, I didn't watch the big O in Gigantor or hell no. But this will also bring back childhood memories now, or childhood feelings or, or, or past experiences. Now, my experiences with Toonami, I will share. Um, my favorite show on Toonami, of course, is Gundam Wing. I remember watching Gundam Wing. The first episode I ever seen was the episode when Catra, he was in Sand Rock, and he was fighting, I believe, an Ares mobile suit. That's when Ares Mobile Suit was fighting, you know, Sandrock Gundam, just come get me, you monster, just shooting at him. And that's when Sandrock took his shield, and he had those, uh, two, um, two shuttle blades connected on each one, so they closed like that. And he jumped up, and he wrapped them around uh, Ares' waist. And then I think that's when, I don't know if Catcher or the, or the enemy pilot said, oh, I always wanted to see how far this machine could go, and then he blew him up. Thank you, like, hmm, this isn't bad. Let's see, looking at the list of all the shows on the Dark Swim, 
the ivory carving because the dark swim came out and uh, a dark swim. Oh, uh, Toonami. Looking at all the shows that was on Toonami. Uh, all the shows on Toonami, I remember because uh, Toonami came out in 97. Ended in 08. Let's see. Robotech. Yes, I watched that. Um, Sailor Moon. Didn't watch it on Toonami. Used to watch that on regular TV back when I was uh, younger. Uh, DBZ. Of course, who, who didn't watch DBZ? Uh, Ronin Warriors. I remember that uh, Gundam Wing, of course. Like I, like I said, I was talking about that first Gundam. I remember watching a few episodes in that. The OAF team. I really, um, really did watch that a lot on there. Gundam 0080. Didn't watch that on Dawson Swim. But of course, I mean, Toonami, damn. But <laughs> this is the thing. The G Gundam. You know. I first read a long time ago in An America magazine that they were bringing G Gundam to America. I was I'm like, yes, I got a Gundam series. And and obviously when I got into G Gundam, I realized it was so completely different than anything that uh, the previous Gundam series were. So I'm looking at the magazine, they're showing Burning Gundam, which that's another thing. They changed the Burning Gundam. It, the real name is God Gundam. And Master Gundam is Devil Gundam. But here in America, we're so sensitive, you know, when it comes to religion, you know, they said, well, I, and no offense, I'm not trying to poke fun and make fish to the people who are, but said they kept the name God Gundam. That wasn't, I mean, come on now, but anyway, they showed a picture of Burning Gundam. He was charged up the energy, but well, I thought he was charged up the energy, but then when I seen the episode, it was when Chibity Crockett, uh, Gundam Master, he did his technique and Domo, he multiplied himself and he caught it. And that's, that's what I thought he was charged with energy in the picture. When I see the episode, I was like, oh, he's catching energy. I'm thinking he's, because he doesn't go like this. He goes like that. So when I see that picture, I'm thinking like, okay, he's charged with energy. And I didn't see that. But it came down to it, to when I first saw G Gun on Tsunami, I'm thinking like, man, I love Tsunami. Because this is the, at that time, I'm thinking this is, the best part and segment of Cartoon Network. This is something where they show various kinds of animes that cater to so many people. You had your Dragon Ball. I mean, they even put, um, at one point, Batman and Superman on Tsunami. Yes, they did, yes. They did, they, they got Sailor Moon, Batman, Superman, Dragon Ball, Gundam, Tenchi Yamai, all, all those different things, Gigantor, it was so, diverse for the anime community that's what i loved about it you know you've seen time the robot he was evolving and everything uh it's it's like it's just iconic man and to see it come back i wouldn't mind at all because like a lot of movies and games some of the classic animes are better than a lot of these new ones and just to have it come back it takes me back you know I mean, I remember going over to my cousin's house, watching it. I remember the time sitting back, chilling, man. I would, um, <laughs> I would walk up to the street, get me a number one combo, come back, man, watch some uh, Toonami. Oh, man. And at the time, I remember when I had a DVR, I would uh, DVR the hell out of uh, Toonami. Yes, I would, yes. You know, it, it, it was, it was real, real iconic, man. But yeah, but of course, I was, ex I knew it was something up with it. So for, you know, for it to be an April Fool's joke, but you know, I'm, I'm like, ah, hey, they can't put it away. It just didn't, it is a too suspicious. It really, it really did. However, uh, but if it, hey, like I said, but if it's coming back, hey, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Because what will I watch on it? I want to try to rewatch the animes that I never got to finish or see. I mean, I could just easily still buy them, you know. Like I could just easily try to find a, a Blue Submarine Six, real easy. Also, you know, Gundam Wing. I have that whole series on DVD, so. You know, I'll probably watch it, watch the shows for memory's sake, for a nostalgia feel, you know. 
whatever. But yeah, that's my whole take on it, man. So to all of the nobles and the elites. Oh, and before I go, I'm gonna try to get this right. Well, I'm gonna do my best to get this right. I don't try because do or do not, there is no try. Now, uh, what I just said right there, let me know in the comment section where I got that from. Now I think about it, somebody just easily type that phrase in and, and, and you know, and, <laughs> and get the answer and then post it. But anyway, it's all cool. You know, it's all good though. Uh, it say uh, he also says right here. If you want to know how to pronounce my name, Ella Will, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get this right. You Syrian. You Syrian. A Syrian. I hope I got that right. I mean, that, that's a good name. That's an interesting name. I wonder, you know, I wonder what's your nationality. Uh, you Syrian. You Syrian. It's one of those, but Usirion, I hope you like this video. <laughs> hope you appreciated it. Oh, um, yeah. So I hope you're excited about it coming back. I hope you no, know, it doesn't bother you. Cause hell, Bleach still gonna be on the DOS film. Well, hey, <laughs> but hey, for all of you who still put in video requests, as you can see, I'm, I will get to you. You know, I'm doing my best to be on the road. Um, I hope you all still, I still hope you all enjoyed this video, however. But yeah, just keep on watching my videos. I do appreciate it. I'm loving the concern, the care, everything. Uh, I like doing these requests. Just um, keep following, keep watching, keep supporting, because I appreciate it. I love it. This is the Elite Ace. I'm signing out. Thanks again.